uh, this time our topic is uh, beam bearing uh, this is very important for beam but at the same time this portion is very ugly so you need some passion to understand this okay first of all what is uh, beam bearing beam bearing means if a concentrated load or if a huge amount of load acts in a very small amount or very small portion of a beam then the beam might get cut so that kind of failure is called bearing failure so today we will discuss about a bearing failure or how to design for bearing for a steel beam so uh, yes uh, before starting uh, we should you should know something about um, plate so whenever we apply a concentrated load on a beam we place a plate uh, and then we apply the load on the plate and that plate is called uh, bearing plate so for bearing plate uh, something to know about b and n that is the dimension of um, bearing plate what is b b means the length n means the width so uh, the width of the plate should be equal to the beam width can be less can be slightly more uh, but uh, width of the bearing plate and the width of the beam should be same it looks better now the length b it is a design consideration uh, also the thickness of the plate is a design consideration we'll see on uh, step by step but as the book um, stated it here so i am just discussing and uh, the dimension of b and n that means uh, the length and width of the plate is changes with one inch increment and plate thickness is usually uh, quarter inch now this is not mandatory whatever size available in the market you can use that so okay uh, what are the checks we do for designing uh, there are six 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 so you can see here these two, two sentence very important so here what they, uh, they told us the basic design checks for beam bearing are wave yielding wave crippling in the pl beam plate bearing and plate bending in the plate so how many four wave yielding wave crippling in the beam plate bearing and plate bending in the plate and bearing stress in the concrete or masonry support so here they listed five six two for uh, wave two for the plate the plate we are using in between the beam and the load and the bearing stress in the support there is another one for the flange so that is not listed here that is in the next article uh, we will see that uh, later but again six six when we design for bearing we have to do six six so here they are discussing five another one is coming in the next article okay so what are the six or how to do it sorry Uh, maybe I went to the wrong place oh yes yeah so past six is a uh, wave yielding so past six is wave building so there are two equations that two equation will tell us the capacity of a beam for wave yielding you know what is yielding yielding means the uh, the material in the wave will reach the yield stress so first case if x is greater than d then the capacity of the wave for yielding is this this is the capacity of the wave for yielding if our applied load is less or equal to this then it's good okay now what is x what is d x means the uh, distance from the end to the load application d is the depth of the section you know d, what is d you can find it for any section ASC manual chapter 1 what is phi phi the strength reduction factor you know this uh, what is k k also is a metric property we can find it in chapter 1 ASC manual uh, uh, if I can draw um, k and k and uh, yes so at this time better to sh show you what is k and k k1 so if I draw say a uh, w section it's not a good good section but again there's a curve here curve here a curve here 
curve here so k means from this point to here is is k and here to here that means up to this is k1 so hopefully you know what is k and what is k1 so we will go to there oh still the we still we did not need the use of k1 but it is coming we need to use it in later part of this of this article so you know what is k you know what is n n is the length of your uh, bearing plate so if i if i draw again so say there is a beam here and you are applying a huge load here concentrated better to use a plate here and this length is called this length is called the in the length of the uh, bearing plate and the width width that the width uh, that side width that side is our b which is the width of the beam also and the thickness thickness is uh, tp plate thickness so hopefully you know what is n what is b and what is n okay let's uh, go go to the book so yes again so this part i discuss and then second part is second equation is this when x is smaller than d x is smaller than d equal or smaller than than d then this is the capacity equation here everything is known uh, is transaction factor typically one n is the length a for unit stress tw is the wave uh, thickness so everything is known so depending on the load application now what is xd there is a figure here you can see here also so if if, if this is our load so this is a beam and there is a reaction reaction of the support is our concentrated load then what is x here x is half of n that means here to here is our x whatever the load application from the end of the beam that is called x we will see more and then our next topic is uh, capacity for wave crippling capacity called wave crippling now what is a uh, wave crippling that means wave will be distorted we will will we'll bend or wave will buckle that kind of failure so wave will fail and uh, not in yielding some geometric failure buckling or or like mid distortion that's kind of it is called wave crippling what is the capacity if or x is less than or equal to d by 2 this is the capacity if x is um, less than d by 2 and n by d is less or equal to 0.2 this is our capacity for other cases this is our capacity so these equations are very ugly but very easy because all of the parameter nothing to understand you will just pick up from the aic manual how see tw wave thickness you can find it from your ac manual n is your design parameter you will assume it or it will be given so you will assume a value of n and you will consider you will check check it d depth of the section tw t, uh, is uh, wave thickness tf flange thickness e more or less of elasticity 29000 ksi fy is your real distress tf your flange thickness tw wave thickness so everything is known just depending on your load application that means uh, x and your depth of the section it will like your design equation will be chosen from here then you can find the capacity of this section if our applied load is less than the capacity it, it is good so hopefully you understood it is not so difficult just as uh, ugly okay so um, before okay here's something to let you know that there's a mistake in this book that e is 29 10 to the power 6 psi yeah this value is correct but the equation here this equation uses e is in ksi so do not use 29 10 to the power 6 use 29 10 to the power 3 so that means e should be in k ksi fy should be ksi your capacity you will get it it keeps so the uh, so do not use psi it should be ksi okay now hopefully you understood uh, web crippling now we will go to the support support capacity or support bearing stress how to find it 
the capacity of of a support if it is a masonry or concrete it is the capacity and uh, this part is the reduction factor 85 a prime c if you took reinforced concrete design class you know what is 0.85 uh, a prime c that is the uh, depth not depth the the value or the average value of the equivalent rectangular stress if you do not know it no problem just use this when you will take strength uh, sorry reinforced concrete design class you will see 0.85 a prime c or very brief story uh, when a concrete or masonry fails uh, the stress in the concrete or masonry is a curve so let me uh, draw quickly to remind you where what i am talking so if this is our um, reinforced concrete if there is reinforcement here uh, so bending stress if it is linear is this but if it is non linear it looks like this and the tension is uh, here but this one is very uh, irregular but difficult to cal calculate so what do we do now this value is x this value is a, a prime c now this is very irregular so what do we do here we assume a equivalent rectangular section at that that dimension is 85 a prime c so that is uh, 85 0.85 a prime c so fully So if you go okay now a one what is the a one it is the you can see here area of the steel bearing that means the dimension of the plate that means where we are applying the load now for some cases for some cases if the plate does not occupy the full support area area that means the plate is the this portion is our plate and this is our support so you can see that there is a gap here there is a gap here in that case that means uh, okay let me draw it so that you can understand better say uh, this is my support area and my beam is here so i have a plate here now if this is the case case what will happen when the load will be applied here it will be distributed to a larger area of this support so then this is this area is called uh, this area is called a, a, a2 a2 how to find it b we add e we add e what is the, the that e that e is the extra space here extra space here but if one side is very small we consider full easy so this portion is e again if i draw is not right so say my plate is here my beam is here then this portion the smallest portion from the plate to the edge is called e so what will happen we are assuming this is our area this is our area so this portion is our area of the load application okay so we are going there so hopefully you understood uh, a1 and a2 and mostly it will be a a1 where you are applying the load so again very 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 easy take it very easy because it's not so difficult this is the support capacity whatever your concrete and masonry support can take how can find it using this using this equation if there are some space around the plate then uh, you need to consider the short distance see in this side long long this side short e means the shortest side shortest uh, the short, short shortest clear distance in this you can find a2 then use this equation or is the equation if you do not have a2 then this is your equation this way you can find the support reaction or sorry support capacity other parameter uh, you can remember that is plate bearing and plate bending so this portion or a very short equation this equation will take care of everything so if i mark here this equation is very important this is a very important equation uh, why because th this equation will take care of your plate bending and plate bearing both at the same time and now in other book or some book i saw that this is square root is missing 
no there will be square root here so there will be square root here if we use other version of this book or even some other book i saw that this square root is missing it's a mistake there should be square root now what is this if r u is the load simply uh, here uh, by, by r u we mean the support reaction but uh, in other kind of other kind of cases Uh, say if my uh, beam is here and if we apply some load here and your plate is here so this is your RU or if say uh, your beam is this your, your support is here and your plate is somewhere here so this will be your RU so yes hopefully you understood R by RU means simply the load applied what is L? L is something uh, we I'm discussing it later. Uh, very easy. Uh, what is B? B means the length of the plate. N means the width of the plate. A by means the uh, yield distance of the plate material. Now what is L? L is the lever arm. So this figure will tell you a lot. Uh, this figure when there is a load here and the section is here. This portion of the beam. This portion of the uh, sorry. This portion of the plate this portion of the plate will bend this portion will not bend so only uh, this portion will bend because here we have less material here this is the curve of the wave this will not bend so L is from here to here now how to find it very very easy okay yes it is given here B minus twice K1 by 2 why B because whole is B minus twice K so 1K here to here other case here to here that means we are deducting this thicker part then divided by 2 then we are taking one side so that is the uh, L now if you know L then you can find the capacity no you can find the thickness of the plate required so this one equation will take care of the bending in the mm, plate and the bearing in the plate both so one equation will take care of both so when we design the plate how to design the plate size b and n how to do it use a side wave yielding wave crippling and then how to find thickness this is the this is the equation to find thickness this is the way to design bearing plate and you also saw how to design the support simply uh, b n should should be larger and the support uh, strength should be larger Okay, now we will see some example. Or well, before starting the example, let us take a pause so that my video length is is small and easy to upload. So I will come back. Uh, I, I will come back uh, to discuss the example. Thank you.